Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana and I am so excited to be sharing my love of makeup and beauty with you all. Today I am filming my first video in my brand new space. Um, as you can see behind me, I have no wall decorations up or anything yet, so it's still pretty empty and I haven't quite got the hang of the lighting and camera setup, but we'll figure that out. Today I am going to film a purchase or pass video. It's been quite a while since I've done one of these, so I thought it would be a nice easy start to filming in the new space. The first one I have to talk about is the Nomad Cosmetics um, Haunted Europe palette. Now I have already bought this one. Um, I picked it up. It is the palette on my eyes today. I am just testing it out for the first time and I'm going to do a more uh, in-depth review of it. but. This is what the inside of that palette looks like. I absolutely love that color story. I think it's so cute. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely a purchase. <laughs> All right, uh, this one is the Pat McGrath Holiday Collection. It looks like there's a big eye palette, um, some face trios, an eye quad, oh, a couple eye quads, and then um, some single face products. As I've said before on the channel a few times, I don't think Pat McGrath is necessarily worth that money. Um, it's just, as a general rule, not my particular preference. Um, and I don't like these big palettes. I think they're bulky, but the little ones just are way too expensive for what you get. So I think I am going to skip this one. Um, I also don't really see holiday in this. Um, I mean, I guess it's got that green in there, but <sighs> eh. It just sort of looks basic and simple to me, so I'm not really seeing what I want to see in order to bite the bullet and pay for that much money for a palette. Uh, the next one is not necessarily a brand new product, but that is the Juvia's Skin line. So that is the skincare line from Juvia's Place. It looks like there's quite a few products. Um, we've got a peptide and ceramide cream, a niacinamide serum, a glow serum, a vitamin C serum, glycolic acid toner. Um, makeup cleansing balms, an AHA and a BHA, exfoliating treatment pads, um, a glow oil, um, and then two vitamin C treatments as well. Um, I am intrigued to try this because I found, at least in the makeup world, I love Juvia's Place. I find the quality is amazing, especially for the price. Um, I did notice the skincare is priced sort of higher than I would have expected for Juvia's Place. Like they're considerably more expensive than their makeup products. Um, I don't know if that's just sort of on par for the course of skincare or um, if it's because they've got better ingredients. I don't really know. I've, I've never tried to make a skincare line, so I don't know how they function. But um, yeah, I, I was a little surprised by how expensive they were, but at the same time, I'm intrigued to try it. Have you tried anything from Juvia's Skin? If so, let me know if it's worth trying because I'm considering a couple products. This is the new tea creams collection from Holo Taco. It is all inspired by different teas. Um, it's very like pretty for the fall. I'm actually considering these. I am still getting my fake nails done, so um, I don't necessarily need nail polish, but I am in the UK now and I don't have to move with any of my items for hopefully a long time, so I would consider these. I think these are really, really pretty, and as far as sort of cream nail colors go, um, the sort of earthy tone is some of my favorites. Anastasia Beverly Hills has released their new palette for the holidays. This is the Primrose palette. I hate it. <laughs> I, I hate's a very strong word, but I, I will not be purchasing this. I am super uninspired by this. It is basic, it is simple, it is plain. I'm sure there are people out there who are looking for basic and simple and plain, but I am absolutely not. Um, I don't like this. I don't want this. I don't need this in my collection. It's a pass. House Labs has released this palette. This is the Love for Sale palette inspired by Lady Gaga's newest album. Um, I don't mind this. I'm really not looking for anything neutral right now. I did just buy Haunted Europe and that's sort of about as neutral as I'm planning on going for a while. Um, so I don't need this and I'm not going to pick it up, but I actually do like it. I think it looks like a really pretty palette. Um, it's got just enough sort of depth in there to make me think it would be a good sort of fall and winter palette, but for people who aren't looking for 
really, really crazy, colorful, bright eyeshadow, but are looking for something more neutral, I think this would work really well. So it's a pass for me, but I do like it. Colourpop has released their uh, newest Halloween collection. This is the second edition of the Hocus Pocus collab. Um, don't come at me, I've never seen Hocus Pocus. I, I'm told I meant to, I just never have gotten around to it. The theme of the collection itself doesn't really draw me in. And just overwhelmingly meh. It's just, it's very plain looking. Um, there's some nice colors, there's that purple in there, but overall it, it just kind of bores me. I would rather see something with a few more sort of different kind of colors and tones, especially for Colourpop, which has such a big range as it is. There's just not a lot of variety in this collection and I just don't love it. Um, for Halloween, I would much rather something like the Haunted Europe palette. I think it's just a nicer, more well-rounded collection. This is the Sigma and Cinderella collection. It looks like it features some lippies, some brushes, an eyeshadow palette, and a cheek duo. Um, Cinderella is not my favorite princess. I never disliked Cinderella, but um, I'm definitely much more partial to Ariel. Um, so I'm not like desperate to get this one, um, but it is really pretty. I really, really love that light blue shade in the middle. Uh, it's called Sweet Nightingale and it just looks gorgeous. Um, I think the theming is really well done. I like that they didn't just do like a neutral palette with a pop of blue, which is what I see a lot of times when uh, companies are doing Disney clubs, especially princess clubs, is they do like a neutral palette with their one sort of signature color. Um, but this one is a neutral palette with sort of some more purples and blues and there's a yellow in there. I just think it's really, it's a pretty palette. Um, and if I was in the market for another palette like that, this probably would be one I'd pick up, but at the moment I'm going to skip it. This is the new collaboration between Urban Decay and Marvel Studios. This is the Eternals collection. It, it looks like two cheek products, uh, some eye pencils, as well as that big palette in the middle. Um, I don't hate this. It's absolutely not my style. It's not uh, something I need right now. I really don't like those really big bulky palettes. I find them very difficult to store. Um, even just for comparison, this one from Nomad Cosmetics is quite large, um, but it's quite flat. This would be about as big as I can handle. I just don't have room in my storage system for those big bulky palettes. They tend to get in the way and then I have to store them somewhere else and they'll never get used. Um, so I am going to pass on this, but I don't think it's a bad collection, and I do kind of like that they're throwing it back to sort of OG Urban Decay. This is the Glam Light Happy Hour collection. It includes four palettes. There is a uh, Dirty Martini, there is Chocolate Martini, there is Wine, and there is Margarita. I think this is super cute. I really like the look of them. Um, I love Glam Light's formula. I think they're really, really pretty. Um, I don't need any of them. I don't need big monochromatic palettes like this, but I do think they're really nice and I think they'd make a cute gift. These are the new Glossier monochromatic palettes. They come in 10 different shades. And the idea is that the compact is refillable so you can take the little shadow piece out and put other ones in. I don't think I'm the target audience for Glossier. Um, they definitely seem to work really well for people who want that effortless, no makeup makeup look. It's not at all what I'm going for. These look very boring to me. Uh, they have no depth. They look like they would have no impact. They would barely show up on the eyes. And that really isn't what I'm looking for in my makeup. So I don't think I'm going to pick these up. But if you're someone who just likes those super easy wash of color looks, you might like these. These are the Glowish Blushes by Huda Beauty. There are four shades ranging from a pretty dark plum through to like a really light peach. Um, I really like these. I don't need any more blushes. I really, really should stop myself. Um, but that that third shade, the like second darkest purpley kind of plummy one, oh, it's so pretty. And I really don't have that much in my collection that's like it. I have one sort of purpley plummy blush. Um, I, I think I, I may pick this up for myself, but I'll probably wait a little bit so I can pass it off as like an early holiday treat to myself and not feel so guilty about buying something I don't need. Um, but I do really like this. I think it's pretty, so I may end up purchasing one. 
This is the Tower 28 SPF Tinted Sunscreen. Um, they're advertising it as a sunscreen foundation, um, which I don't like when companies do this because it leads people to believe that you can just use this in place of an SPF. You absolutely cannot. You do not apply enough foundation or moisturizer to be equivalent to a sunscreen. You really should be applying a separate individual sunscreen. Um, if you're applying enough of this to take the place of your sunscreen, you're going to look ridiculous. It's going to be very wet and kind of goopy off your face. I think if you wanted to use this in a uh, complement to your regular sunscreen, if you wanted to like kind of top off your regular sunscreen with it, there's nothing wrong with that, but don't use this in place of a sunscreen. That's absolutely not going to work. Um, and then you're still getting that UV damage, which nobody wants. Um, I, I do like the idea of these tinted sunscreens and tinted moisturizers um, for the summer. I think it was a weird choice to come out with this in the fall. Um, and I don't need anything like this, really. I, uh, am, I have very oily skin. This kind of stuff typically doesn't work for me, so I am going to pass on this one. This is the MAC Holiday Collection. Uh, it looks like there are some shadows, some cheek products, some eye products, um, obviously lots of lippies, and they've all got that sort of candy mint swirl on them. Um, super cute packaging, but uh, what's in the packaging is pretty boring. Um, it just looks like a very kind of basic holiday collection, um, which MAC is pretty well known for being reliable but basic. Um, they don't have a lot of range, they don't have a lot of variety, they're just sort of plain and simple, um, which is fine if that's what you're looking for, but that isn't what I'm looking for, so I'm going to skip out on this, but uh, I do think it would make a cute gift if you had a friend that was like into more simplified, easy makeup. Lunar Beauty has released the Moonspell Volume 2 palette. It is a mostly sort of pinky purple palette. There's some pops of oranges in there. Um, this is super pretty, um, but I don't need it. I want it, <laughs> but I don't need it. Um, and I'm going to try and talk myself out of it, but it is a really, really beautiful palette. It's, it's got 20 shades in there. There's lots of depth, lots of dimension, um, quite a few different sort of finishes. It's a really, really beautiful palette, and I love my original Moonspell, the Volume 1. Um, I just don't think I need an all sort of orangey pink purple palette right now, just because I do have lots of those in my collection. So as much as it pains me, I am going to skip this one, but it is really beautiful. Next we have the 4th Ray Beauty Pumpkin Face Polish. This is ColourPop's sister brand that does skincare. Um, I don't love these really like gritty kind of face scrubs. I find they don't do, they don't feel very nice on my skin. I don't know if that's because my skin's sensitive or because they're not actually very good for your skin. Not a dermatologist, so I can't really answer that, but um, I also don't like the smell of pumpkin just as a whole. I don't think it's a good smell and I don't want it on my skin. Um, so I am going to skip over this one, um, but I do like a lot of 4th Ray Beauty stuff, just not these. Um, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and uh, for that, Makeup Eraser has released this limited edition one with boobs all over it. Um, I don't know much about the charity that this uh, proceeds of this are going to. It is called uh, Team Edith. Um, I'd like to do some more digging and find out. Um, one thing you should always be cautious about is a lot of the breast cancer awareness charities, particularly the ones that focus on pink, um, they're not well known for using their money for much good, um, and a lot of people, particularly breast cancer survivors, have said they're not a particularly helpful charity. Um, so I think it's really important whenever you're donating or buying products like this because of that cause that you want to make sure that the money is being used properly, um, and just look into those charities before you make that purchase. Um, I do think this is kind of cute though, and if the money is going to a good place um, and helping to find that cure, I think uh, this could be a really cute little gift. I, I don't know, I think it's nice. <laughs> Hip Dot is releasing a collection with the Adams Family. When I saw this, I thought this was KVD revamping their Saints and Sinners palettes. I, I, <laughs> it, it looks like a straight knockoff of that, I'm sorry. Um, I don't like it. It's very boring, and I, I know the Adams Family is, 
you know, supposed to be all black and white, dark and whatever, but I just, I don't like it. It's not very fun. I don't think it suits the theme very well either. Um, because the Adams family is supposed to be, you know, spooky, but it's also supposed to be kooky. <laughs> it's supposed to be fun and exciting, and this is pretty boring, so I don't like this. Um, I don't think this this achieved what they were trying for, but um, I'm sure some people will like it. Makeup Revolution has released a collection with The Simpsons specifically focusing around the Treehouse of Horrors. This is what I mean when I'm talking spooky fun. I really like this. I, I don't know if I like Revolution's quality, and I don't know if I'm going to pick any of this up, but I like this. This is fun. It's bright. It's bold. It's quirky. It's Halloween, but it's not just blacks and grays, and it, it's much more fun. There's those, like, kind of bright yellows that you would expect in The Simpsons. There's those acidic greens and those really bold oranges. Really every color that I think of when I think of The Simpsons is represented here. I love the packaging. I think the art on the packaging is really, really cute. So um, I really like this. I think this is adorable. I don't know that I'm going to pick any of it up, but I do really like it. And finally, ColourPop has just teased two new products. This is the Play It Jewel Mega Palette. It has 30 tones in it. Tell me this doesn't look like the last three Mega Palettes they've just released. It's super boring. It's super boring. Every big palette that ColourPop has released could have easily been a nine pan. There's just not enough range or depth or diversity in this one. It doesn't look that exciting to me. Um, and they have also teased the Party Proof Eye Primer, which looks like it's going to come in different shades, which is always great for eye primers because um, unless they're translucent, they're not going to work on every, sh every skin tone, so I like seeing shades. Uh, so far it looks like they only have three, so they're probably going to be fairly sheer, um, but still that's exciting. I would definitely try it out. Um, I'm not going to place a ColourPop order just for this eye primer, but if it's good, and next time I'm placing an order, I might pick one up. So that was all the products I had to talk about in today's video. Is there anything you're looking to purchase or anything I didn't mention this week that I should have? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. I'm hoping to have the room a little bit nicer decorated and hopefully have my lighting set up a little bit better for the next video, but I appreciate you bearing with me through these moving pains. It's uh, so, so nice to see all of your lovely comments wishing me a happy move. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!